द क्वेश्चन सेज एन एल्किन ए कंटेंस थ्री कार्बन कार्बन सिंगल बॉन्ड एट कार्बन हाइड्रोजन सिग्मा बॉन्ड्स एंड वन कार्बन कार्बन पाई बॉन्ड्स ओके नाउ अगेन इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट ए ए रिएक्टेंट ए ऑन ओजोनोलाइसिस गिव्स टू मोल्स ऑफ एन ओके इट प्रोड्यूसेस टू मोल्स ऑफ एन एल डी हाइड ऑन ओजोनोलाइसिस अब मोलर मास फोर्टी फोर यूनिट राइट आयु पैक नेम ऑफ रिएक्टेंट ए ओके व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन वी हैव रिएक्टेंट ए इज देयर एंड इट अंडर गोज ओजोनोलाइसिस वी हैव रिडक्टिव ओजोनोलाइसिस एज टू इज देयर एंड इट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग टू मालिक्यूल्स ऑफ एल डी हाइड आर सी एच ओ सी देयर एंड दिस एल डी हाइड इज हैविंग द मोलर मास फोर्टी फोर यूनिट मास इज देयर फोर्टी फोर यूनिट मास ओके सो फ्रॉम दिस इंफॉर्मेशन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द केमिकल फार्मूला ऑफ रिएक्टेंट एंड इट्स नेम ऑल्सो एंड देन दिस कंडीशन मस्ट बी सेटिस्फाइड देर शुड बी कार्बन हाइड्रोजन एट सिग्मा बॉन प्रेजेंट इन द रिएक्टेंट एंड वन कार्बन कार्बन पाई बॉन शुड बी प्रेजेंट ओके तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आइडेंटिफाई द प्रोडक्ट इफ वी आइडेंटिफाई द प्रोडक्ट देन वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई रिएक्टेंट ओके बिकॉज दिस दिस आर ग्रुप इज हैविंग हाउ मनी कार्बन वी हैव नो एनी आइडिया सी एच ओ इज देयर वी नो इट दिस इज एल डी हेड फंक्शनल ग्रुप इज देयर बट दिस एल्काइल ग्रुप इज हैविंग हाउ मनी कार्बन वी हैव नो एनी आइडिया बट वी कैन गेट सम हिंट फ्रॉम हियर ओके द टोटल मोलर मास ऑफ दिस एल डी हेड ग्रुप इज सपोज टू बी वट फोर्टी फोर ओके यूनिट मास So you can see, first of all, this aldehyde group is composed of R and it is CHO is there, R CHO, and total molar mass we have forty four. Okay, if I calculate for CHO molar mass, so carbon is what twelve, hydrogen is one, and oxygen is sixteen. If I add, so it will be equal to twenty nine is there, thirteen plus sixteen twenty nine. So it is having uh, molar mass twenty nine. And is equal to it is forty four. So if R R atomic mass molar mass if I have to calculate, so forty four minus to twenty nine will be equal to what fifteen is there fifteen. Okay. So what was the number of carbon hydrogen are present in this alkyl group? Their total molar mass should be fifteen. Okay, fifteen plus twenty nine is equal to forty four is there. Okay. Now pay attention very carefully. This alkyl group lowest member will be methyl group having only one carbon, okay? And one carbon atomic mass is what twelve. Now if uh, there are two carbon, so twelve to your twenty four. Now it is twenty four is exceeding this fifteen number means definitely this alkyl group is having only one carbon, okay? Let's say I consider this is methyl group for this. If you calculate for justification, the molar mass carbon is what twelve three hydrogen is there each hydrogen. Atomic mass is one. Twelve plus three is equal to fifteen. Is that we got the chemical formula of the alkyl group? Alkyl group is nothing. This alkyl group is nothing. But this is CH three group is there. CH three alkyl group. Okay, we have methyl group is there. So now we can write the reaction. Okay, again we have the reaction. Uh, reaction is uh, A is there. It undergoes ozonolysis. Okay, ozonolysis. We can mention J N. Zn reductive ozone lysis is there. O Zn and it is H2 is there, and it is producing two molecules of aldehyde. Okay, this is what we get. We got this chemical chemical formula from the molar mass given. 44 unit mass is there. From there we got the chemical formula. From the chemical formula of the product we can find out the reactant. How we determine? Pay attention carefully. In this case I can take one example, and easily you can find out. Uh, you yeah, figure out. Uh, The chemical formula of the reactant, especially in case of ozonolysis. Okay, let's see if I have a chemical reaction. This is what CH3 and it is CH double bond. It is CH2 is there. We have CH2 is there. It undergoes ozonolysis. Zn and H2 is there. To complete the reaction, what we do? Break both the pi bond. Sorry, break both the pi bond. Both the pi bonds are broken and attach oxygen on both side to satisfy the valency. So this is the one uh, product and this is another product, okay? Because these two bonds are broken completely, attached oxygen. So one product we got uh, this is CH3, it is CH double bond O is there, okay? 
and another product we got CH2 it is double bond O is there two products we got it okay now for a moment let's say I do not know the chemical formula of the reactant I know only the product and from the product I have to determine the chemical formula of the reactant so what we do in this kind of reaction you remove oxygen I cancel these oxygens okay and see these oxygens are attached to this carbon this carbon and this carbon is there okay so the carbon to which these oxygen are attached we connect these two carbons via double bond via double bond like you can connect to satisfy the valency so we got the chemical formula CH3 CH and double bond CH2 oxygen we eliminated okay removed so we got the chemical formula CH3 it is CH and double bond CH2 is there this is how we can determine the chemical formula of the reactant you can see CH3 CH double bond CH2 okay so from the re product side you remove the oxygen and you connect the carbon those carbon to which oxygen is attached those carbon to which oxygen is attached connect these carbons via double bond okay so again I come to this chemical reaction this is the chemical reaction we have okay figure out the uh, chemical formula of the reactant we have two molecules of aldehyde okay so we have A is there, it is undergoing ozonolysis. Very interesting question. Okay, and we have aldehyde C H3, it is C double bond O plus one more unit is there, C H3, it is C H double bond O is there. So what do we do? Remove oxygen. Eliminate, remove these oxygen. We got these oxygen when this substance undergoes ozonolysis. Addition of oxygen is also an oxidation reaction. Okay. You can see this oxygen attached to CH, this oxygen also attached to CH. So these CH will be connected via double bond. Okay, then we got the chemical formula. First we have CH3, then we have CH. This CH is connected with a double bond to another CH, and then we got CH3 there. We got the chemical formula. We can say 1, 2, 3, 4, but 2 in to the second carbon double bond is present. It is symmetrical alkene is there. Okay. Now you can see 8 carbon hydrogen sigma bond and 1 carbon carbon pi bond is there. So we can draw the structure to justify that information. Okay. So we have carbon, hydrogen, 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 CH3. Then CH is there, hydrogen. Then double bond C and H is there. And then C, it is H, H and it is H is there. Okay. Carbon, hydrogen, how many sigma bond? Eight sigma bond. Okay, single bond is always sigma bond, 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 sigma bond. I mention only carbon hydrogen, not carbon carbon sigma bond. Three to five and three eight carbon hydrogen. Carbon hydrogen we got eight sigma bond. Okay. And then carbon carbon one pi bond is there. Carbon carbon you can see one pi one double bond is there. So one pi bond is there. One sigma bond is there. You can say so this chemical formula of the reactant is satisfying this condition. Okay. So this question is quite interesting. That is how we can identify the chemical formula of the reactant. Chemical formula is what? We have the compound A is a but in which undergoes ozone lysis and produces two moles of aldehyde having molar mass 44 unit if you like this video please share and subscribe to the channel